everyone. Here I have my next house party pack. Here it says your party pack. It says tear it and share it. So I'm going to be doing that. This one is for a Blount Bowls party that we will be having on Saturday the 17th of February. So I'm going to open this up and check out what we get to share with everybody who happens to join our party. Very excited. My little one has actually been asking when we're going to have another party again so I think he's pretty excited for this one even though you know it d doesn't necessarily seem like totally a kid idea but I think he will happen to really like it he's definitely a soup lover as well as my sister so I think they'll enjoy it quite a bit and as usual any mama or dads of course can use a easy quick snack that'll be healthy for your family or for yourself for lunch or whatever so I think these are going to be really great here I have my party pack guide it says let's get this party started it says log into your account visit your party page where I can complete my activities to maybe be entered to get some more packs in the future. It's definitely important that you complete your activities. If you don't, it'll definitely hurt your chances of getting more parties, but you know, so far I've been able to do all my activities for all my parties, so feeling pretty good about that. Let's open this up and see here what else it says. And here it says, also, when I share on my social media sites about the party, I'm going to use hashtag Blount Bowls Party and hashtag sponsored so that everybody knows I was able to do this for free, which is extra fun. And let's see. Inside, it looks like there are eight coupons for a free Blount Bowls product. So hopefully we can, you know, be able to find one of each of the flavors so that everybody can give it a try and taste out what each one of them tastes like. And then here we also have 11 coupons for $1.50 off any one Blount Bowls product. So we'll be able to use these as well to give out to anybody that wants to join our party. And let's see here. Here we've got, looks like a little Blount Bowls rag here a little towel that we can use in the kitchen so that's always helpful you can always use an extra kitchen towel or a little can use it as a little tablecloth too for the party which I think that's what I'll probably do with it use it as a little tablecloth and here oh fun we got this nice quality it actually feels really thick and nice this little apron it says I love flout bowls so hopefully that's definitely true and we can use this and enjoy those bowls and here it looks like we've got some fun little cups that have the advertisement for flout bowls on it we'll be able to Hopefully, like I said, we can find some of each of the flavors of the Blount Bowls at our store and then I can use these to serve it up so everybody can have a taste of each one. So that'll be great. And finally, looks like here we've got this nice reusable bag that also says Blount Bowls. And this bag is kind of interesting here. It almost feels like cardboard but then you can tell it's a reusable bag it's definitely thick and kind of cloth like inside but also feels like a paper bag it's a little bit interesting I've never felt the material quite like that so kind of excited to use that bag maybe I'll keep it in my car for when I go grocery shopping so I'm gonna be checking out these blount bowls and soon enough we'll be posting some pictures in the video so you can see what our party was like and maybe you would like to host a party of your own so I definitely suggest you sign up for the house party website. I will leave a link in the description so that you can check it out. I'll also leave some links to my other social sites so you can check out some of my other posts. And I'd really appreciate it if you feel like liking or subscribing to my videos. It definitely makes a difference. So enjoy my video and see you later. Hello everyone. Just wanted to tell you a bit more about our Blount Bowls party thanks to houseparty.fun. 
and it was an awesome time to sit around together and just enjoy some tasty soup on a little bit of a chilly day so it was a great time uh, one of the things that I found a little bit interesting was that before I had made these myself I did read a review about them that you know it was actually not such a great review it said that the rice bowls were a little bit tricky to make that the rice did not you know break apart or soak up into the broth at all that it kind of was left chunky so that was something I was concerned about but in making them I did not seem to find that same difficulty so I was very glad about that. Uh, is well, I went to my local Target to pick these up with the free coupons that we received from the Proddy Pack. And I was lucky enough to be able to get one of each of the bowls. I was able to get the hibachi chicken and rice bowl and the vegetable rice bowl. And let's see here, the coconut chicken and noodle bowl and also the chicken ramen bowl. So we were able to try out one of each of the flavors and everybody was able to try a little bit of each thanks to the little cups we received from the party pack as well. So that was a great time. The only thing I wish was that maybe they could have sent some little spoons would have been helpful. I didn't really think about it until we were setting up the party that, you know, I had to use the spoons from the kitchen and that created a little bit of a mess, but not too bad, nothing to worry about. So, you know, we were able to get by with that just fine. Uh, as far as what we thought of the bowls, I think that overall the coconut chicken and noodle bowl was the overwhelming favorite. My mom definitely liked that one as well as my husband and mm, pretty much everybody else. Uh, that one had a lot of flavor and in fact even I really liked it. That was the one that I kind of thought I would like the least because I don't like coconut at all. But I think it was more of a coconut oil rather than a coconut flavor involved because I didn't taste any coconut and thought it tasted very very delicious and was much more flavorful than I had anticipated. Um, and then, you know, as far as the chicken ramen bowl, I kind of thought that one would be the favorite, but in fact it was not. It did not have much flavor and just really was not quite what we were looking for. I was pretty surprised about that and just kind of thought even a little bit more saltiness and a little more chicken flavor would have been better for that one. But then as far as the rice bowls, you know, like I said, I was a little bit concerned about how the rice would mix into those. And they came with the rice in a very tightly closed little uh, airtight package. And so, you know, as I opened the package and then was pouring it into the broth, I kind of broke up the rice a little bit. And I think maybe that seemed to help the cooking process. And then uh, as part of the cooking process, you cook them for a little bit of time, take it out of the microwave and stir it up a bit. And then my microwave it a little bit longer and after that stirring occurred and then microwaving it a second time uh, the rice did seem to break apart just fine and cook in and I was actually pretty surprised at how soft the rice was once it had cooked into the broth it was nice and soft no crunchiness to it so that was something I definitely appreciated I don't like crunchy rice at all so uh, I definitely really like that and as far as the flavor, I personally liked the hibachi chicken bowl the best. I thought that it had a really good flavor and a little bit of a spice to it, but it was awfully tasty. Uh, the only thing about that one was that I kind of thought there, in comparison to the rest of the ingredients, there was a little bit too much rice uh, with the other ingredients in the rice combined, it soaked up most of the juice, so it ended up not being too soupy. It was quite a bit thicker than I would have liked, but it was still very delicious. And then as far as the vegetable and rice bowl, uh, this one was also very tasty, especially for it being just a vegetable mixture, so that was very awesome. And I also really like the consistency of this one a little bit better. I think because it didn't have as many other ingredients like the chicken, it, the rice didn't soak up quite as much of the juice and it was a little bit soupier. So I kind of like that consistency a little bit better. Um, I would like if the hibachi chicken bowl was a little more like that. So uh, overall, I think we definitely like these. I know my mom really loved them and she's going to be using a couple of the leftover free bowl coupons to get a 
few of them to take to work for her lunches so that'll be good for her especially since she's been dieting these are a nice little healthy lunch for her instead of going out to the local restaurants with her friends so that'll be nice on a few days especially if it's colder here so uh, I definitely think we will be liking these and I know my sister will and my mom and I and we definitely enjoyed uh, our party so we're thankful to the house party website for letting us be approved and letting us uh, to, or you know allowing us to have this awesome party and sending us the great goodies and thanks to Blount Bowls as well it was a great time so I will leave a link to the Blount Bowls website in the description maybe you can check them out and they are found in the kind of the cold deli section uh, I found them right below the deli counter at my local Super Target so they were pretty easy to find and they had all the flavors available in my local store so um, hopefully your store will too so check the link so that you can find a store near you that carries these and also check out the link for the house party website maybe you can host a party yourself it's been a great time so far so maybe like my video and subscribe I'd really appreciate it see you later